Hey everybody, Taz Crossblade here with a brand new episode of How to Be Good at Call of Duty 4. Today's episode is going to be a short one, and speaking of very small things, I'd like to make a shout out to one of my clanmates, Man Bear Pig. God damn it, Taz Crossblade, you f***ing promised me you wouldn't f***ing make fun of me in your f***ing show. Take this, you son of a b Oh, oh my god, what are you doing? Stop this. This is disgusting. Ew, oh my god, stop. Ah. Sorry about that. I guess I should have put a password on the recording server. But on a more serious note, this episode will be rather short, because the topic it discusses, attachments, only has five parts. Attachments are one of the many customizable options that you have in Call of Duty 4. They can be unlocked and added to any weapon in Create a Class. The first one is Red Dot Scope. Now this scope doesn't affect your weapon's accuracy or range. It's little more than a direct replacement for the magic marker on the screen trick. Unlockable by getting 25 kills with any weapon, except for snipers, this scope is basically a more advanced form of the iron sights. As a rule, I try to avoid depending on the red dot scope. I don't like it as much as some of the iron sights. That being said, there are a few weapons where I just need to use it. For example, did anyone think before making the iron sights on the G36? Seriously, it's just two big circles in the middle of your vision, and half the time you can't see anything but the small space in between them. When you do use red dot, only use it on assault rifles or submachine guns. For light machine guns and shotguns, the grip is a much more useful attachment. But that's not till later. The second and final scope is the ACOG scope. Now I don't really understand this one. It's a slightly zoomed scope with a little orange triangle at the end. And every time you breathe, instead of being a slightly noticeable movement, it can entirely throw off your aim at a distance. This scope is unlockable by getting 150 kills with any assault rifle, sniper, or light machine gun. I try not to use this scope on any fully automatic assault rifles, but you may consider it on the M16, the G3, or the M14. I've also seen a lot of people use this for the light machine guns, but I don't get what all the fuss is about. Now, this is the only scope unlockable for the sniper, but I wouldn't recommend using it. You can't hold your breath, and the zoom is reduced. And although it does reduce the movements from breathing, I would only use it on the semi-automatic snipers, if at all. The next attachment is the third and final ninja's tool. The silencer makes it so when you shoot in softcore, you do not show up as a red dot. This is also the only attachment that can be used on pistols, although not the Desert Eagle. Be warned, however, a silencer will open up the barrel of your gun, making unscoped shooting less accurate. This can be unlocked for assault rifles and some machine guns by making 75 kills. The fourth attachment is the vertical foregrip. This reduces recoil of light machine guns and shotguns. I definitely recommend it on all light machine gun classes and on shotgunner classes using the semi-automatic shotgun. The pump shotgun doesn't shoot fast enough to make the recoil a factor. Be warned that the grip replaces the first perk, so if you can't go on without your claymores, then you'll just have to deal with the recoil. The attachment can be attained by making 75 kills. And now on to the final attachment, and the part of today's show that I've been dreading. The grenade launcher attachment for the assault rifles. Automatically unlocked with all the assault rifles, this weapon is more commonly known as the noob tube. When placing this on the weapon, it removes your first perk, and in turn gives you two noob tubes. These are very powerful and easy to master, but watch out PC gamers, because most servers ban for the use of these items. These weapons are well known for their signature explosion and the cries of noob tuber that are sure to follow any kill. Now, be careful when using them, because I need to travel a short distance before they're armed. Fire it too close, and it will just limply bounce off the wall. But with the incredible speed at which they are launched, they can be used at close range, and be shot right through an enemy's body. Time for a quick clarification. I know I said that the Red Dot, ACOG, Silencer, and Noob Tube can be unlocked for any assault rifle, but that's not entirely true. The MP44 assault rifle does not have any marksman challenges to unlock the scopes. So even though you can get skins for it, that's all you can do. Well, that's all for today's episode. See you all next week, and remember, I'm Taz Crossblade. And I'm Man Bear Pig. See ya.
Wow, five minutes. Guess this one wasn't so short after all. Huh. Well, at least I didn't make any mistakes, like leave-in clips. That's pretty good, right? Hmm.